Hey guys, happy Sunday. And I know I'm like a day late and I'm so sorry. I totally just did not feel like getting out of bed yesterday. And I was like, fuck it. I don't care. I was like lazy day after work. So today here I am, but I did promise you possibly Sunday, not Saturday. So second thing I want to discuss is happy birthday to Kathleen Zellner. I have no idea how old she is, but I can guarantee she's probably worth more than all of us put together. Sorry, I'm like choking to death. And third thing I want to discuss before we get into today's topic is I found a video that I'm totally going to stream, not a video, a game, that I totally am going to stream. My boyfriend, my boss, everyone's like, you're crazy. It looks sick. And if you're into VR, my only catch is I read somewhere that it's only for the Oculus Rift and I'm so mad, but I will definitely go out and buy the Oculus Rift if I have to because I so want this game, but it's called Bevelon. Uh, a battle royale. I will leave a link to the YouTube video in the description box so you guys can see what I'm going to be playing. It's like babies fighting, but like you, they're like all rocked out. They're in like rock uniforms, but they're like fighting and they're car racing and they're crashing. It looks awesome. So I wrote the developer and he said that he would absolutely add me in for the beta testing or alpha testing, whatever they call it. Um, as you can tell, I'm not like world's greatest gamer. But it is beta testing, but I think they called it alpha testing. So anyway, I don't know how I'm going to afford Oculus Rift if they don't make it for Samsung VR. But maybe I'll start to go find me like everyone else. So, and I'm sure I can get the whole gaming community to chip in $1. And all I need is like 800 people to give me $1. And boom, I got an Oculus Rift. Hey, it's been done before. So that's the first thing. And like I said, I will leave description box the first round of it is coming out next month which is what we're testing but it looks so awesome so that's that um i was gonna stream other stuff for um samsung you know just like to get used to it and shit but what happened was i ordered this controller on amazon the other day i was so excited for it to come and it's broken it doesn't work i was so fucking pissed so I brought it to GameStop just to make sure that it wasn't user error like the idiot thought it was. I called my boyfriend who said, oh, it's probably user error because he's just like them. But no, it wasn't user error. Two GameStop told me, no, it's broken. Doesn't work. Thank you because I'm not a fucking idiot. So with that said, moving on. So my friend Dave Lettinger, I think his name is Dave, don't kill me. But we've been talking in the groups about... Um, Teresa and what actually happened to her and I apologize I couldn't remember the name I have like 14 million things running through my head right now so anyway and one of the things that he was saying it's only plausible that she has been that she's still alive and personally I have to disagree with that I don't think she was alive she's still alive I never thought she was alive what I think happened I've said before, but just to reiterate, I'll say again, what I think happened is that they found her car, they found her belongings in the car. Where? I don't know. Somebody may have called it in from the street, or maybe the real killer called it in. Who knows? So they found all her stuff. I don't believe they ever found her body. Whether they found it after that, who knows? They may have found it after. Nobody knows. But while I was talking to Dave about this, it hit me. And it hit me like a fucking ton of bricks. So this is more a theory. And you guys know, like, I don't really talk about anything outside. I don't definitely don't touch conspiracy theories. I have nothing to do with blood and all this speculation about what could possibly be. I basically go on facts and, of course, my opinion. And if you agree with my opinion, great. If you don't, great. I, it's just my opinion. I did the same thing on Joe Benet Ramsey. But this, to me... And I think to a lot of you guys is an extremely plausible finale of what actually happened. Okay. So like we all know that the police, Herman, Kratz, the defense, even the other county will stop at nothing. Calumet will stop at nothing to put Avery away. Okay. We all know this. So think about it like this. When they found her car and everything, when Colburn called it in. We know factually, I don't give a fuck what anyone says about the date being wrong. The date wasn't wrong. The facts are, and it does, again, it doesn't matter what our opinion is, that our opinion says that they may have had the date wrong. No, we have to go on facts. The facts say that on that piece of paper that her car was found on the 3rd, it was brought into the impound on the 3rd. And 
her stuff was in there, but she was missing. I personally believe she's still missing. I don't think they ever found her body. I don't think they'll ever find her body. And if they did find her body, it was forever later. So check this out. When I was talking to Dave the other day, and it was Friday night actually, he was saying again that she's still alive. I had said, think about it like this though. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Let's say, cause you know how like Kratz and everybody is so fucking cocky that, oh, they're never going to get busted. They're never going to get caught. Fuck you motherfuckers. You can't be this cocky. There's only two reasons they would be this cocky. One, because they know Avery did it and they are so confident because they know he did it. Or scenario number two, which I am really heavily leaning towards. Maybe they killed the killer. And I know you said, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, where did this come from? Here's the scenario. Because they're so cocky, how do we know that they didn't kill whoever killed Teresa? And they know that Kathleen Zellner will never find a killer who's dead. There's no way for them to catch a dead killer. It's kind of like JonBenet Ramsey. That case is unsolved forever because of that. You can't catch a dead man. So maybe, just maybe, they actually killed the killer so they know that they could never get caught doing what they're doing or doing what they did. It doesn't matter how much evidence was planted. It doesn't matter if Kathleen Zellner can prove evidence was planted. It doesn't matter if she can prove that um, Brendan was nowhere on site. I mean, there's a million things that she can prove from facts. What she can prove is if Stephen did it or not, unless there's another killer. Because planted evidence, I have this conversation with somebody else again. Planted evidence, planted blood, planted everything proves one thing, reasonable doubt. In this case, reasonable doubt meant nothing. There was so much reasonable doubt in that trial and the jury still had them convicted. It was a twisted jury. It seems like a twisted appeal. It seems like a fucking twisted everything. Because it's so twisted, there's no way that they're that cocky unless they know that that killer could never be caught. Seriously, before you guys think I'm fucking crazy, which some of you do anyway, but I want you to think about that. That to me is the only plausible explanation of how they would know that they're never getting caught or they're never getting in trouble. Because even if someone comes forward, unless it was Ken Kratz himself, they're not going to have enough evidence. And no policeman is going to go against the entire state because not only would he have to watch his back, he wouldn't have a fucking job. So as far as anybody coming forward like that, it's not going to happen. And if Ryan or Scotty or anyone comes forward, nobody's coming forward and say, I did this. It's not happening. It, let's not live in a fantasy world because that is impossible to happen. So the again, the only plausible, true plausible explanation is if they got rid of the killer, then there's nothing to find. So that's my assumption. I might be right. I might be wrong, but it's something to seriously think about and why Kathleen has taken so long and everything else, which kind of leads me to my closing argument is that I do not think that she ha is going to have any problem with actual testing. I, me and Casey said this last year around this time that we know everything's planted, whether she can prove everything is planted, pat on our backs for calling this over a year ago, for being able to explain the way everything went down. I did a year ago, more power to me. I didn't have the actual proof. That's why he's got an attorney as good as Kathleen Zellner. But the truth is, I'm not a lawyer. I don't have to figure it out, but I did figure it out. So far I'm right on track. So it's just an interesting thought that I came up with and I might be right. I might be wrong. I don't know. So we'll see. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I am off tomorrow. I am going to play some video games, although I can't play them on this new controller that's broken. So make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to do what other videos do and say, if I get 500 likes, I am going to, I don't know what you guys want. And guys, Pat Roberts, you can't answer that because I don't even want to know your answer. So honestly, guys, um, if I get 5,000 subscribers 
in the next three months. I will dye my hair any color you guys want. How's that? Um, you want red, white, and blue for 4th of July? So be it. I'll do it red, white, and blue. All right, 5,000 subscribers and 500 likes. And just remember, make sure you subscribe. I'm also signed up. I'm having like this contest with my 12-year-old daughter on live.me. So I'm actually trying to promote YouTube on it. But if you guys are on live.me, live come find me. Give me diamonds. Um, I don't know. It's some stupid teen website, but fuck it. Why not? And that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And any, make sure you leave all your comments. And again, subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys on Wednesday. Peace out.